Hello there and welcome to my nest. This is Cade and I'm having one of those days that we often dream of. It's a cloudy Sunday. I have nothing on and I've been already able to stitch. So I'm just going to stay in the flow and share with you what I'm going to work on uh, tonight in front of Netflix or the telly or whatever I get up to. How are you going? Is your weekend nearly done or halfway through? Uh, where, wherever you are, whatever time, um, as always, I'm just so grateful that you are choosing to spend some of your time with me here in my little nest. So let me come back to this because I want to catch up um, with where we were last time. And so this is a reveal, da 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 moment. This is my large travel clutch pouch that I was, I started with you, I think, I don't know where I was up to, but I was sharing how I wanted to experiment with some different um, materials and textures other than, um, yeah, apart from, how do I say that, um, apart from the torn fabric strips. So I'm going to bring you up for a close up and you should be, I'm hoping, you should be able to see that this ribbon worked so well and I got so excited that I really went and hunted down supplies that I use in my journals and I just had it in the house. So this fabric has ended up, this fabric clutch has actually ended up being a real celebration of multiple textures and the pom-poms that I wanted so desperately to use. I've made a decision. I've been influenced by the beautiful Missy over on Missy Made This. She's made some absolutely glorious um, clutches and pouches. Please go and check her out. And on her last one, she put a magnetic um, closure on. Now, I've never seen one of those um, in a shop, so I'll have to go a bit of hunting um, to see if I can find uh, that. But I think that simpler look for summer rather than a big flower is what I'm going to do with this. So again, just a little um, close up. I really enjoyed featuring a bit of vintage old lace trim. I'll show you some of that. I cut it in half and I made sure that it happened in you know the last row up here i've got some other white bobbly and i actually quite like this idea that i've got some little pinks of um, little pops of pink fabric the flannelette sheet that i use this tablecloth um i've now used all the flower all the features up so i'm just left with a very plain fabric strip but that's okay because let's talk about what's coming next. In here, I've added, I used this, this is a sewing basket remnant, I think, pretty sure, um, in my very, very vintage. This is the cord that I've used up here, and it's macrame cord. I bought it to bind um, my journals and I've crocheted with that before um, just as a, a wrap but now I'm excited to use that as the actual yarn so I've got those two and that and then in here I also then found this so I'm going back to will I still make my journals I plait this again for some little features in my paper journals and I've been telling you about this for ages and ages, that I want to make a big tote um, with a wider base to take shopping with me. And because this is the week of Kate on Tour, country oppie shops, I'm going to set myself a little deadline because a um, bit of TV, a bit of Netflix, we'll see um, how far I go. So here is a clutch and it may have a matching tote to go with it. I started this ages ago and again this is why I love these crocheting projects because you can put them down, they don't unravel, you can come back with new 
textures and um, just, you know, it's, it's just joy. So I haven't got as many bits of lace and thread down here as I thought, but that's okay. And everything's jumbled. So this is the reality of um, how this all works. There's one there. This is white. So I'm going to try and interplay. I found that I had this lovely little bit of um, lemon. And there's the pom-poms that I have more left. Um, here's the <laughs> here's the bit that I um, cut in half. So that there became that. And I, I, I love that. So look, I even tried... Um, is that Rick Rack? So all sorts of textures and I, I love that feel. Okay, so let's get crocheting. So nothing new today. So if you know how to do this, I hope you've got some making beside you and we can just have a chat. Let's just put some things out here. I've come back to this room. You might remember um, I've moved into my stitchy room, formerly the spare room, but everything kept falling off that um, skinnier desk. I'm just chopping here because there's a big muddle in there. That's what I use, very, very thin, and it doesn't matter. I also found, I did a set of journals last year where I sewed this on the sides and uh, they flew out of the nest as travel journal. So I always think of travel when I look at that one. Um, don't need the pinks. Let's, I should show you how that works. It'll only get me a few stitches, but it'll be worth it. Okay, now I was going to tell you, you know, oh, can I just show you? This is an oppy shop pick up. How amazing is this? So I put it on with for my um, crocheting video. This is, you know, this is pure me, pure me and it shows that other people in the world like it. That's, it's knitted with braid and then this is like soft and core fur, more braid, crochet motifs and that. So I don't think I've shown you that before, but I've been wearing it a lot. Oh, before I go away, this is my collection. That's probably why I didn't tidy it up. A mixed collection. It's got something of everything in it. But if we need a bit more braid, we can go digging in there. That's actually a nice long and creamy one. So let's have ha let's have some fun. Oh my gosh. Let me leave this here as a reference. And here we go. This is I was about to do a big um <laughs> reveal. I'm, I'm a little bit infamous for the video I made where I couldn't find the crochet hook. Um, so it is here. Um, I've actually been able to read it this time because I found my proper needles. It's actually a 6.5, that one. And this one is an 8. I have done the base um, on the 6.5. And I'm deliberately going to use... We'll see if I can use the bigger one as I go up the sides of the basket um, because it'll give me bigger rows and also um, it'll crush her up faster. But I sort of want to try out that look. So I was over here when I finished. So all I can tell, that was the last um, increase. So I did two double crochets into the one stitch there 
and two there, etc. But that's big enough for me now. So we're just going to go round and round and build, build it up. So let's start. And thank you so much for your comments and for letting me know that you're having fun uh, making these fabric bags. It all started with um, a number of us going to Pauline Franklin's workshop at the Green Door. Um, seems like ages ago now, but it was so wonderful. And it truly has been the gift that keeps on giving. Um, that's why I love learning. And I hadn't even booked into this, this course, but Missy had. And, um, and ever since, many of us <laughs> have been unable to stop. I've got a pile of pink and bright bags in there. Gift them and give them away and... Um, just keep making them and use them as nests is the other thing that I'm doing now. So a round base and up the sides. Okay, so just a quick revision as I chat away in through the loop. So straight in, yarn around through and through two loops. And I'll pull that up a bit higher. So this is my first corner where I haven't increased and you'll see A because I'm using a bigger hook and B because these stitches um, well that's the result um, we're not increasing it's starting to buckle up immediately so we're just going to mold it with our hands and within a couple of rows it will be it will look like the beginning of a basket it a bit looser so remember we're trying to stay loose especially when we're changing the tension of well can't get my words out I'm so excited um the the width and the weight of the fabric affect the stitches and it affects how you do the stitch that doesn't make any sense but I hope you know what I'm saying okay we're just going to do that stitch to there I've realized I like um, changing rows not in the center and towards the and wrapping around so not not stripes as such although that one looks a bit stripy there um, just feel it. Okay, let's let's be bold. Oops. So I have to um, once again. Yeah, I I just love reading comments, and because I've made a few lately, I'm hearing from um, a lot of you quite regularly and even a couple of times a day over since Friday and to the lovely Carol who I gave a shout out to the other day um, she commented just earlier and said you know looking I'll be looking forward to your videos from Kate on tour or something to that effect and I came out and I saw, told my husband I said there we go Kate Kate's not going to be in the nest. She's going to be on tour, <laughs> a shopping tour, um, a country oppie shoppy tour. And who knows what we'll find. But any time away from home, driving in the car and stitching and crocheting and talking, listening to music and podcasts is just wonderful. 
I've been thinking about what I want to take with me and I think I'm going to take a big I've got a new crochet project that's why I want to get this bag made because I could take it in this and put my cotton and stuff in the clutch so let's have a look this is macrame and look at the size of those stitches would that be a centimetre at least but love it and it again I get bored you probably realize that by now so for me I just whatever the battle or whether I love it or not I just go keep going around the corner then you get to change and then I wonder what it will look like when there's another row on top so it's easy to keep motivated I even went to the linen cupboard before because I just absolutely love Missy's basket with her old sheet and what did she use in the last one a cot sheet I think as well and I had I had a lot of linens with you know that I could have used that have gone to other to op shops or have just you know not survived because they've been worn out and so I actually went and inspected just then this will make you laugh all my current sheets to see <laughs> and I was I was prepared I was prepared to if I saw a mark or you know like a, it getting thin I was prepared to rip it up and then I went Kate that's an expensive solution at this point Keep your sheets. <laughs> but I will have my eyes peeled. And it's been great to hear a um, number of viewers sharing your stories of going your shopping and many of us I think have been influenced by shopping um, with loved ones or friends who who share that. My son has suddenly um, fallen in love with um, old cameras and so when he was here um, he spent time in the op shops and I nearly said I'll come with you but I actually said stopped myself because I knew I'd buy things and I didn't, I wanted to save my pennies before um, we go to the country. And to save some things for locals as well. Look at the twistiness of this. As I always say, how, how does that happen? Let's just get a little bit around this corner as we chat. So this is the first time for this end where there's no increase and I'll pull it deliberately higher, the stitch. This is a workout, by the way. I can feel that I'm getting warmer. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. I haven't been on a walk today. But it's not, it's not too late for that. I've been out in the garden. But... All right, that's enough of that one. Let's chop that. And I feel like experimenting with you on the biggest contrast that we can have. So let's do some lace or trim. I don't, 
I don't know what to call that. It's quite near the bottom, so we won't use a lot of it. Not that I've got a lot there, but just to show you the impact and to have it sort of a little bit raggy to show an idea of what's coming. So this is hard to crochet, just be warned. And you literally have to, I was about to say do it manually, but it is manually. So don't be put off by that if you want to keep trying out new bits. One more stitch. So that length made, I wasn't counting them, one, two, three, four stitches. But for me, that is absolutely perfect. Just a little bit of interest and curiosity texture and we're going to change I would have so everyone I'm back to this nest because I wanted some of this the ball has come unrolled I've got more of that somewhere but this is that little light very remember we talked about how I'm learning to look at the fronts and the backs so this is just a really subtle pink a little pop of green. So I suppose with these colours I'm thinking summer and I'm thinking that I don't want everything to be that I carry to be hot pink and red and orange that there are times for subtle colours that go with everything or this can be yeah with my whites or something. We will see. thinking yeah yeah sorry I'm quite a mystery aren't I I'm because I'm trying to concentrate on talking <laughs> and my brain is racing ahead and thinking now this is pretty boring stitching but I'm hoping that it's fast enough for you to see and I want to experiment with this other twiny sort of Okay, well, decision has been made for me. I was going to try and get around the corner, but that didn't last that long. I don't usually like to change there, but look, it'll be it'll be absorbed. So it's the equivalent of starting. Oh no, it's probably two thirds of the way over. Okay, here we go, everyone. So we're going from a cotton fabric, literally, to a stringy, duty thing, which I love these natural colours. That's why I've got them to go with my journals. I've just noticed I've been filming all that time with a piece of vellum. <laughs> I've always loved to travel, always, always, and I love nothing better than having a travel journal with me. Um, I think most places before I made journals, I would buy a journal or a, a book with interesting papers, um, you know, because for me, they are, that experience can be remembered um, through what I write and I don't draw 
that, that was a romantic dream then when I said draw. But for this trip, I think I'm going to take, I'm going to make a paper journal tomorrow and take it with me. And I'm going to take, I'll, I'll share that with you tomorrow in terms of projects. But I'm hoping that when I buy, sounds like I'm going to be a shopaholic. I'm not really. And my husband's, my husband's done a little bit of extra work. And he said, I want to put that toward um, our trip away. And I said, well, I have bought a lot of little loppy things. And he said, well, it's making you happy. So, and he wants to do it. He said, I'm on the hunt. So what can you say, girls? <laughs> um, I'm going to shop. And that's, sorry, I got just carried away then. Um, so I'm thinking that I will, if I buy little pieces, I'm going to um, stitch them as well as maybe put them in my journal. I've got myself in a knot here. So. Just a bit of trivia. I was just thinking of Katy Perry being out here for the Australian, like for the grand final of the AFL. And I heard that she, she was being paid nearly one million per song. And so I thought, well, that's worth it for Katy Perry to go on tour, isn't it? <laughs> so hopefully she's bought some Australian um, um, things while she's here and, and contributed to our economy. I think she said nine songs. Okay, I'm loving this. So here's another idea if you like natural fibers and these colors to give it a go so you can clearly see the um the stitching there's a little bit of fiber fiber fraying okay i want to get over this join so just like fabric collage or paper collage you don't want to stop at the same place that you started a change before. Let's go to here. Yep. And then get to do a final contrast. What would be interesting for you? That or Let's do a little pop. So this is what I love. We're making art in a way because it's just creative and anything goes. So I'm going from rope to this dainty little yellow trim. it up a bit so you have to just adjust your tension if you want the rows to sort of feel the same or you can make it very organic by deliberately um, you can do all sorts of things so look at that little daisies and that's all I'm going to do so then I've got a few stitches later on up the top. How is our time going? I think that's about enough. So, little recap. Fabric pom-pom clutch. Deep. I'm going to have a magnetic um, closure. And Missy put a zipper in hers. I'm not very good at zippers, everyone. My mom is, she sent me home with a zippered pouch and an instruction. 
oh i've got to try it she said okay you have to learn you have to so i'll give that but so we've got the clutch and then this is going to be the shopping tote that goes with it and we've experimented there's the base and today we've added yeah just two rows already and that's an inch so gold macrame old lace trim cotton that was some more fabric this jute and now we're finished off with daisies so i'm hoping that was fun for you to have a watch and a giggle with i've absolutely loved it and there's no doubt that i will be working on this tonight and give myself the deadline of it's going with you uh, when we leave on tuesday so this is katie and Ness. thank you so much have a wonderful wonderful time until i see you next bye